It's yeah. been carnage. It's not well. Oh, it's, she's not well. She's I don't think she's well. going to last. I've got pieces of paper to prove it. Oh, so have you had a lovely time in the Nottingham? I've had a gorgeous time. It's like a little reunion. I've had a wonderful time. Because well, you used to be here, didn't yes, you? Yes, I used to live in Nottingham. So it's a nice like homecoming moment. Hello, it's me, Cheddar Gorgeous, at another Netflix I Like to Watch live event here at the new Forester's Bar in Nottingham, home of Robin Hood, famous man in tights. I do like a man in tights. In fact, I've been called one from time to time. Today, we're going to be watching Netflix's movie, Eurovision, the story of Fire Saga. We are here for the Netflix's I Like To Watch and please can we welcome to the stage two of the most divine, sumptuous and delicious beings in existence. It is the Vivian and Tia Coffee, please! <laughs> And we're here with the lovely Brent Wood. How are you doing, Brent? Oh, I'm absolutely beautiful. Being with you is an absolute dream. And seeing all of these people here liking to watch, because I like to watch, is an absolute scream. <laughs> I didn't understand any of that. So I'm going to ask another question. Are you enjoying being in Nottingham? I absolutely am. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I tell you what, I'll steal an art or two. Oi, oi. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I feel threatened or turned on. <laughs> Possibly a little bit of both. Why do you think these venues are so important to keep going? Well, look, at the end of the day, I remember being a young man myself and I wanted to find community. Community? <laughs> That's the one. Community, like basically we're a community mutiny. Uh, but I wanted to find community. And look, being in places like this and being able to be my authentic self, kiss, touch, obviously with consent, because consent is sexy. Thank you very much, everyone watching at home. Uh, that is exactly what I was looking for. And it's really important that community venues do open up and stay open because they allow little queer folk to be able to find people like themselves. Eurovision fan. Yes. Now, I'm not going to say the movie is shy, but I can't. Can bear your vision. Does anyone actually like your vision? Yes! This is gonna be me all through tonight. Tears gonna be sat in no, I love you better your vision. Have you never watched it? I watched it once, only because I like you know Lordy. They went to Finland, didn't they? They were the first gig I ever watched. And I had a ciggy with Mr. Lordy. Uh, yeah, it's a very nice experience, it's about 13 years old. Is that his government? Mr. Lord, Mr. Lord, for tax reasons, tax deductible. So we're going to be watching that this evening, and we're going to be taking the piss all the way through it. You can watch it, or you can sit on grind it's up to you, I don't care, we'll get paid either way. I'll be on Grindr, <laughs> Are you on Grinder? Yes! Has anyone ever come across this on Grinder? I hope someone will come across this later, but... <laughs> And we've got lots of shots on our way, I'm sure, because the tray's empty. So, <laughs> if you could replenish the shot tray, that would be lovely. I'll sort you out at the end. Um, <laughs> and I think we can start the movie. Are we all ready for... What's it called? Oh. Eurovision Song Contest, the story of... Fire Saga. <laughs> Hello, darlings. How are you Hi. doing? Lovely. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. No are you having a pleasant no. evening? I'm having a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. What has been your favourite part so far? Um, funnily enough, catching up with Tia Coffee because we've actually known Tia for about 12 years. We were at university. We went, we went to uni with, uh, with Tia yeah. when she was doing philosophy. Yes. Oh, well, we're all a little community here, aren't we? Why is it so important to keep these little venues alive? Nottingham especially um, seems to not have very many spaces like this, so um, this is a really important venue, and particularly because they've got their lovely pink plaque on the outside, they're um, commemorated as a historical venue. So. Oh, everybody loves a pink plaque. Welcome to the stage, your gorgeous performer from Nottingham, here tonight is Jane
We've had a wild night here at the New Foresters, haven't we, dears? It's yeah. been carnage. It's not well. Oh, it's, she's not well. She's I don't think she's well. going to last. I've got pieces of paper to prove it. Oh, so have you had a lovely time in the Nottingham? I've had a gorgeous time. It's like a little reunion. I've had a wonderful time. Because well, you used to be here, didn't you? Yes, I used to live in Nottingham. So it's a nice like homecoming moment. So, girls, why do we think it's really important to come here and inflict carnage on these amazingly wonderful small local queer venues? Do you know what? When we um, when we first created I Like To Watch with Netflix, the pandemic happened and we got offered the opportunity to take this, this show live on tour. And we could have taken it to huge venues, you know, venues that, you know, every venue across the UK has suffered, but some more than others, definitely. And smaller venues like the New Foresters, um, like Sundowners in Margate, they, they suffered a little bit more, you know, than other huge venues who've got like huge corporations behind them. We could have gone anywhere, but we came here to the New Foresters in Nottingham. Hope everyone's had a brilliant time. Oh, I'm back with the landlady. It's the end of the night. How are you doing, Debbie? Absolutely amazing. The support that we've had from Nottingham has been brilliant. Do you feel like it will have a benefit to the bar? And what kind of benefit do you think it might have to the bar? I, I actually think it's going to give us a lot of publicity and people are going to know little bars that we do just more than just um, put on uh, music that we're going to dance to. We actually care for the community. So hopefully all these bars that have taken part of this will actually like get all the support in the future. How did you first come to know the pub? Well, when I first came out when I was 18, I was actually brought here with a lesbian gay switchboard. Yeah. And they brought you to a bar? They brought me to a bar, yes. Um, the, fir the first gay bar I ever came in was actually here, and it was actually mainly dominated by lesbians in those days. And what was that like, walking into those doors? It was, it was very scary because it was the unknown, uh, because you feel like an alien in the first place, and you walk into a place, and you don't know these people. So... They, they got the confidence and you got no confidence and then all of a sudden you walk into this place and then, um, but they took you under your wing and they supported you and I learned an awful lot from these mature people uh, who showed me the ropes, not literally. <laughs> well, maybe literally as well. But thank you so much for continuing the tradition of the good old fashioned queer British pub. We do love that. Oh, what a night. It's going crazy in there right now. I think they're going to be going till the early hours. I've been Cheddar Gorgeous and I've had a lovely time. You can, of course, watch the Eurovision movie over on Netflix now. And don't forget to go and give my drag sisters Tia Coffee and the Vivian some love on their YouTube show, I Like to Watch. I'm off to bed now, though, probably to put a bit of Netflix on. Mwah.